plants, different in animals, different in humans. And it's an ability to rise up to challenges, problems and situations. And we saw that animals also possess certain capabilities, but they don't have the freedom to choose or expand their capabilities beyond the very limited point. Humans have that.
the water is not stable, it's not, then the mud gets mixed up, which means a stable mind uh, cannot be like, when a mind is not stable, then all the mud grows. So, yeah, all the impurities. So, the articles, the article which was in the puppet is our thoughts. Okay, the article was the thoughts, okay. You want to add anything to that, Sanjana? There are, the, the point was that you are all, all there, that's right, and you, both of you are right. And that's the point was that there was water in the bucket, you got the activity, right? you even understood what the activity was. And also, you, you, were not, you got the, what the activity was. Point was that if I am stirring the water up, then it becomes difficult to see what is in the water. Because there were some items which are placed in the bottom of the bucket. And I was mixing the water, and I added small amounts of mud. So when there is mud and I mix it, it becomes even more bulky. So I can't even see what is inside. And they were given some small time, some 60 seconds to look at that and note down what all items are there inside the bucket. Some very one or two items. He just said some whitish thing was there. And there. So there were very few things where they could add it. Then the next time I said that, okay, I'll give half the time, but I will not disturb the water. The water becomes still. Then, but in half the time, they got almost all the items. The Point was that that bucket of water represents our mind. So if the mind is disturbed, then because the mind is disturbed, the, those things over there are what is the information or the knowledge that we have. Like, it's like they are there in our mind. That is the information which we already have in our mind. When our mind is disturbed, we are not able to access that information. Even though it's there within our own mind, we are not able to access that information when we need, the mind gets all disturbed. When that same mind is calm, we will immediately be able to get what we need. So we will discuss several examples of how it happens. A nice story of Gautam and his followers also. So all those details were checked. So that part of the, and the, uh, the mud makes it even more difficult to see, and the mud represents the impurities. So when the mind gets agitated, those impurities all rise up and they make it even more difficult for this thing. So therefore, we saw that the main factor preventing us from being efficient is that lack of calm mind. Proficiency plus calm mind equals efficiency. This is where we are right towards excellence. So we start, so this so is this the journey so far clear to everyone? Is there any, if there any questions, any doubts in this point of time? It's clear? Okay, fine. So, so there was another assignment, which was done last, which was asked for last. We have about three anecdotes, people who have shown calmness during trouble, three anecdotes when they have bungled up in pressure situation, two anecdotes from your own life, which can be so, anecdotes are needed. Sanjay has taken the notebook outside, so we have some things. Yeah, I know one. Um, during the life of Amitabh Bachchan, there was a period when he had totally uh, lost his career, didn't know what to do, and uh, no money. And in that case, when he was still calm, and he, uh, his friends also helped him, and now he's where he is. Mm. Lies in all the gear. Mm. So, his calmness in that situation is what brought him up. So, Amitabh Bachchan was able to maintain that calm. Avisha? No anecdotes. Achha, what about personal anecdotes? As I promised, I am going to share. I told you, I will share my personal anecdotes. Okay, you want any anecdotes? Which one? Which anyone? Which one you want? Please say please. Once I was with my friend, uh, he had a preliminary exam in a school. So last night his mom, uh, she fainted because of some problems. So he, he was in the hospital all night. He didn't study well. Morning he came to the school for the exam. I came from the hospital. He was late. So then he managed to write the paper. And he wrote it and he got on my So he showed a lot of yeah. calmness during his life. And any place where someone bungled up in the show? Okay, anyone remember where they bungled up? Or if not, you have thought of any quotes? Uh, I remember one from three. Okay. So, uh, 
director, uh, Vyras they call him. So his, uh, he mentioned that his son fell from the train and he died. But even though that day he was, uh, he was giving lecture to his students. So that is one of the examples of the So even uh, knowing that his son is no more, but he was so much focused in his life that he went and he did his job that he is, which was supposed to be done. I was sure that people would come with the second one also pretty easily. And the biggest example of the second one was India versus Bangladesh. P20 World Cup. Many of them who do, but it is no. Bangladesh gave what one run to win, three balls. They got so excited, they got so this that they lost three wickets in three balls. And India won that match. They needed two runs to win. Two runs to win of three balls. And the last, there are two set batsmen, Namatulla and I think Vishwitu. Two batsmen are there. All of them, they were, were batting very beautifully. They just hit a four and he got all excited and all that. Next ball he got out, the next guy he also hit and got out, third guy got out. And they lost the match because they got bungled up under pressure. So many more examples. Even in sports, those who follow football, you know about the famous Zidane incident? Yes. Yes, no, yes. You know about Zidane? Have you heard of Zidane? Yeah. Heard of Zidane, right? Great player, right? Yeah. He just So it was the World Cup Finals, Soccer World Cup Finals of 2002. 2002 World Cup. So the 2002 farm was in the finals. The, it was going, the match was going nice. It was a tight match with Italy. And almost towards the end of the match, he had a little bit of, you know, you know they always had this little bit of, you know, tiff here and there. There was a guy called Matraz on the Italian side. Friend. So that guy said something, you know, and to provoke Zidane. He said something about his sister, just to provoke him. Zidane lost his crew. He headbutted him. A very famous movie. He headbutted uh, Matarazzi. Given the red card, captain of the French football team, the person who was in the running for the Golden Boot Award of that World Cup, the best player of France, gone out of the World Cup, they are playing with a man shot, France lost the World Cup. There are plenty of examples, anecdotes, I am sure you can look at it, you can read things as well. So I will, and because I mean, maybe not in the to share personal anecdotes, but I will share with the anecdotes. So there are, so I will tell you two anecdotes. Or when I, when I, let me first tell you two and I was like goofed up big time. The first one was, uh, was in my 10th standard, geometry exam. So, yeah, so, it, it was, so therefore there was a, then we used to, I don't know, paper pattern or a chain. And we used to give those two, those, some eight to mark questions or something, just to come in the end. Three questions, some, but I have mark ka question, I don't know. So, uska first one was some constructions, ka which I was not getting. Second one was I think trigonometry, which I got. But then the but I was so put under pressure that I didn't The third one was a very simple syllabus. I knew how to solve it. It was some sum. It was some cylinder which was being melted into make some cones or something, something like that. Because I was under pressure, I took the diameter as the radius and I solved it. So everyone knows that if I do that, then I tell them to toss. Toss. The marks also went to toss. Now, that was one example. Second one was, which I'm sure Sachin comes will remember very well, because it happened in my B. So I was, uh, there was a quiz, there was a quiz competition which was organized by a college. So in that quiz, as part of that quiz competition, I had gone, so I was participating in that. So we had first, I and my friend were there, we had cleared the two rounds, preliminary rounds, and the finals was happening. It turned out to the farmers that our college was posting the finals. So I was here, I was just sitting on the stage. A, B, C, D, and then all the, it's like home, home, home support. All my friends were, all my professors, all my friends were sitting in the audience, and I and my friend were there, on the, on sitting on the, on the stage. And the quiz started. Now, the team A ka question ka answer we knew, B ka, C ka, we knew, half question ka answer we knew, and it came like that. That was, you know, because, you know, like, you know, they were clapping, the audience was clapping for every right answer. 
and we all came they were all looking so expected the at us bhai apna apni chalu kar diye and we did no i have a friend is like he pata nahi pata yaar he pata and then we after that we kind of lost the plot by idea we were we were going back we were the last team for the first three rounds very way off and we were bundling up question which we knew when we think all the whole thing and thought of it but what happened is that we gave a wrong answer to see the audience expression they were like Then last two rounds because we had nothing to do, we recovered and we finished fourth, fourth or third somewhere. But point is, we bundled up the whole thing for the good examples, positive examples. One example happened uh, when I was in the when I was doing my interview. So for my for this for the company, so I had gone for my tech interviews. So that was the first though. You know when I went there. The previous the everywhere I told you what tough I am all that. So I went there, but I was because I had thought very clearly that there was one thing which I had told myself very clearly before going to any interview that an interview doesn't judge or change who I am. It only tells whether or not the company needs me. This is something that I have told myself. It doesn't define whether I am good or I am bad. It only defines whether the company needs me or not. So that much that I went. And the interview went quite. Like I was so chilled out. I was telling them all the things like pretty easily, and they were asking me. I just, ah, you know, like, I was so calm and composed in the interview. The interview went very well. I was able to clear that one. It was one example. I was calm. And the other example when I was calm under pressure happened during another play. So we had this play called uh, 2047. Called one play which we did in Pune. Part of it I was a police inspector. So I had to run in and I had to, you know. Capture some criminals and then drive them on the street. Just had to come in running. Unfortunately, the belt was not of my size, so there was a big problem there. So when I came in running, halfway through the scene, my belt went off. Band didn't work. But the belt was off. So the so belt is off now. I can't run around with an open belt. I saw. So what I did, so it just occurred to me that so what I do is I took my belt off and I started hitting the criminals with the belt. <laughs> so the audience didn't realize that they thought, "Oh, well, part of the see play." But everyone, the criminal, they were wondering, "Ki bhai, yeh se kya hai?" But but then it, it worked. So the point is that that was an impression. The reason why I asked you to do this activity is not so much that you want to dig your past or ruin your future. But many times when we listen to things, you know that you know this is good, that is good, we appreciate it. Yes, that is a good. But if we can see that it directly impacts our life, we will give it. We will give it a certain respect, a certain understanding, which we have always wanted. That is the reason why we are insisting on reflection and asking for in the personal example. Even if you didn't share it with me today, with us today, no problem. Please do take some time and think whether it happened to me or not. When you do that. Make it more relevant as to why I am who I am. That was a big point. So, of course, yes. Akash had shared one thing which I am here. He was not he was not able to make it today, but he had shared it. He said, "I hey, this is my anniversary share it with the." So he had mentioned that it's just he as you know he is the jewelry business. Yeah. And he had shared shared it last time. So it changed one of his uh, some his father was working or something. So he was you know he bothered with some paperwork. So some artisan came and gave a gold ring. His father, his father is kept it somewhere. And then after a day or two, suddenly they are not able to find the ring. They are searching everywhere, they don't get the ring. So they are all panic and depression. So Akash is very less calm. So he asks his father, "Do you what is the problem? Just recollect what happened." His father said, "I was just busy with all the paperwork." Then he said that if you do the paperwork, what did you do? He said, "I was writing something and I kept changing the letters." Then he said, "Oh, is it possible that you know the letter must have been thrown some letters in the dustbin?" Then he found out where the garbage goes. So he tracked the garbage, where it seems they get collected, and he checked hundred bags, and the gold ring was finally found. So the point is that he said that because my father, he said both examples are there in the same thing. His father was upset because of some other some work, some paper some issues. So he was careless and he threw the gold, with the paper, the gold ring went into the dustbin. But he was on the other hand able to think calmly in that situation. Then he was able to trace it back and recover the. So I don't want to hear messages being asked from the chefs. Okay, so this was about the things which we have looked at so far. So now let's look at 
The question therefore is that okay, all this is good, but then how do we mine the how do we mine the We said that yes, the calm mind is necessary. But how do we mind the So the mind is a critical link between our ideas and our execution. So have you have you thought about what is the role of our mind? If you really look at it, in any interaction, okay, right now I am speaking to you, okay? We have a conversation. What is your mind actually? Trying to understand. Right? So, well, how does it try to do that? How does it help you Perceiving something. That's the first thing. So you perceive something. But if your the perception is not done only by the sense organs, perception is also done by the mind. But imagine, even though you are sitting right now, okay, fan is on, but you don't even realize that the fan is on or not for a second because your mind is not focusing on that skin. Now, when I mention fan, immediately everybody will feel the please. Otherwise, you know. Because your mind, so even though you have senses all open, unless the mind is there, those sense perceptions will be just the mind takes in sense of inputs. Next, that input is conveyed to our intellect, which is the decision making method. That then, as you rightly said, compare. Okay, this is the new information I have got. So what is the past information that I have? So I don't know, compare it. Okay, 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 asa, asa hai, okay, okay. Then it comes to decides on obvious law, all that, okay, asa, asa hai, okay. And it directs the mind. Asa, abhi hai na, asa, hum, iske liye tum asa bolo. That the mind again has to convey to the body part, which is the mind. And say you do, you move your mind, whatever. Now, in all of this, if the mind is not there, if suppose in between the mind has suddenly gone to this free of mind, or the mind has gone to an IPL match, wherever the mind has gone, this process gets easy. Either you will not understand which way you can or suddenly you will, you will say something else only. Problem is the mind becomes a vital link between our between our ideas and our execution. But mind has tremendous power, which is both an advantage and let us see a couple of videos and we will try to understand what I mean by advantage. Let's first see the positive part. Now to one of your stories. Many of us find is to one of your stories. Many of us find inspiration in paintings, but tonight we bring you an inspirational painter. His work. Many of us find inspiration in... Now to one of your stories. Many of us find inspiration in paintings, but tonight we bring you an inspirational painter. His work has been on display everywhere from the state capitol to galleries and shows from Wisconsin to California. All of this, despite a major disability, as photojournalist Sam Sorensen shows us, he can barely see the artwork he creates. Mm -hmm. 
one of the things that I feel when I paint, I release a lot of frustration. Slowly but surely, my depth perception, along with color. I have been legally blind since 1992. My central vision was deteriorating where I would have floaters and it finally got to the point that it just totally disappeared. This is a mermaid coming out of an ocean. This one right here was one of my first attempts at animals, abstract plant. Losing your eyesight is like experiencing someone very close to you dying. It's, it's a grieving process, and you have to learn to do everything all over again. I use the paper plates as palettes so that I can get a difference in the lights and darks. The red, blue, and black basically look the same. Um, this, this is the yellow. A lot of times when I pull the canvas back, I'm looking at one corner or the other. I'm looking right here. Everything right here is gone. I'm looking up here. I lost my eyesight, my job, my ability to drive. If that support system isn't there, it's even more difficult. Some of the paintings are very, very um, sentimental to me. This one represents my children when they were young, four eggs in an empty nest representing me not being with them during their young years and going through the divorce and the vision loss. I've had a lot of anger and frustration without being able to see things the way I used to. But what you lose, you're given back in other ways. I am able to paint. I have a beautiful wife. She's been blind from birth. We met through a mutual friend, and seven months later, we were married. As cliche as it sounds, yes, there was some connection there from the very beginning. With her encouragement, two years later, I had my first show. What he was telling me was, since he lost his sight, he can't do that anymore. And I said, oh, yes, you can. It was just something he really had not thought he was really going to be able to do. This painting here, so many people ask me, what is it that you see? So I did this one basically to show people that my central vision is basically gone. When I look directly at something, this is exactly what I see, just the edges. When I try and concentrate on the central vision, all I see is black and blue and white and yellow dots. It's a disability, but there's two parts to that word. The dis, which you can focus on, or the ability. I am not going to let my eyesight stop me from developing my God-given gift. It took me 48 years to find it, and I want to continue to paint till the day I die. Photojournalist Sam Sorensen bringing us that remarkable story, and just like he said, focusing on the ability. It's this really inspirational and yeah. beautiful. Beautiful. It really is. That is the power of a person, person's mind. You got the point, right? He's, he's not completely blind, but he's got very little vision. So he can, if you look straight, he can't see anything here. He can only see some things here, some things here, some things here. With that, he's able to create that kind of works of art. As he beautifully said, it's about the ability of this. That's the power of a mind which is positive. Before we see another video, Let me just ask you, you know, any of you have heard of phantom limbs? Phantom limbs? Nobody has a phantom limbs? Okay, let me give you a little bit of background before you see the video. So the, uh, so the point is, phantom limbs are, if suppose you lose for some reason, some people, you know, they have to lose their limb. Okay, suppose you have some accident in the way, your hand gets cut off. Okay. You don't have a hand, you only have a this much, so you don't need my limb. But, no, no, but your brain doesn't know that you don't have to What I mean by that is, it's possible for such patients to come to the doctor saying, I have extreme pain in my left finger and they don't have a left finger. That 
is called as phantom limbs. It happens for both external organs and internal organs. People without a kidney can still complain that my left kidney is giving me a lot of pain. I don't have a left kidney. But the mind has still remnants of my part. But there are two aspects to every part. One is your, now for them if I touch here, I touch here. But where do you actually know that it has been touched? That, so even if you don't have a part, you can still feel its presence. That is called the phantom part. Please little there, so you understand a little more about it by this video. So very famous neurologist, Tobias Ramchand, he's got very beautiful videos on there. So go and look it up. If you don't have time to show all of them, so pick it up one little in one video. Tell me I want to tell you about even more surprising. <laughs> I keep saying that. Uh, again, going back to phantom limb. Okay, so let's say you have a phantom limb, your arm has been amputated. I have an intact limb. You watch me, you watch my intact limb. She has a phantom limb and she watches my intact limb. And I simply scratch my intact limb and you watch. Guess what happens? You feel the scratch in your phantom limb. Now just think about it. Phantom limb has been known for 200, 300 years. Nobody observes this. If you find one patient who watches another person being touched in the same part, he feels it in his phantom limb. Why would this happen? The answer comes from a cluster of neurons called mirror neurons, which were discovered by Giacomo Rizzolati in Palma, Italy. And then some, and other people have confirmed it since then. Discovered in monkeys that you see in humans too. I'll tell you about one class of mirror neurons. Uh, so let's go to the back of the brain. A vertical strip of cortex, it's called the somatosensory cortex, and there's another strip behind it, which represents your touch, different parts of your skin and muscles being touched. Uh, depending on where you touch, you get corresponding activity in different parts of the somatosensory strip. This complete map of the left side of the body and the right side of the brain. So, while, uh, let me explain to you what that video will show. Okay? Why this one, while this projector gets heated and cool and heated? Why this? There are something called as mirror neurons okay, in each of our brains. For example, mirror neurons is what helps a human being connect with another human being. So what you are saying is, if I see you do this, okay, if you all are, I know you are all seeing me do this. Okay, but in your brains, for example, in my brain, there will be a part of a nerve, this particular spot. It has some nerves. Those nerves will be activating one aspect in my brain. One part of it. If I touch here, imagine here light jelly. Here we touch here, here light jelly. If I touch here, here light jelly. You will see me touching here. Your brain will also light up. That is called as mirrors. So when you see someone else being touched or being comforted or being whatever, whatever perception. The same areas in your brain also lights up. That is called as mirror neurons. That is one of the main reasons why we are able to learn by watching others do things. That's why they say it's important that you know that we should have good company. We can influence. Why? Because of the mirror neuron setup. The whole nice lecture where he talks about the mirror neurons effect on the society. But as a society or as an individual, mirror neurons help you understand what others are doing. But if I do this, it may be lighting up whatever, but do you feel nothing? You don't feel a scratch. It's because I do this, you don't feel anything. How come? It's because my brain area lights up. I'm just dramatizing. So the brain sends out a signal to the skin saying, Hey, why you are being scratched? Okay? Now, there are neurons in my skin. So my skin sends a feedback back saying, No, 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 we are okay. We are not being touched. It's okay. So it sends a cancelling signal. Back to the brain, saying we are cool, which you should name When that comes back, the brain stops. That's take, then there is no. Imagine if you don't have that hand. You have a phantom limb, you don't have a hand. When I when you see me scratching, that part of the brain lights up. It asks the hand to respond, it tell me kya hai. You don't have a hand to respond. Because you don't have a hand to respond. Your brain continues to believe in your brain. You get the point? That is the whole, imagine the whole confusion of the mind 
you will actually feel it happening. There's a whole exercise, you know, where they, you know, there's a mirror box. It's a very simple exercise. What they do is, you know, there's a box with a mirror inside. Suppose there's a left hand name for some reason. There's one guy who, who had a feeling his hand is clenched. Continuously, any position, and he is feeling. He doesn't have a hand. But he feels that the hand is it's very painful. What they do is, they ask him to insert his right hand into the mirror, into that box. So, the reflection may look like the left hand. You will, told, you will be told to clench the right hand also. To maintain the fist. The same tightness that he is feeling with the left hand. Then he feels it. Then again he looks at it. Okay, it's tight. Then, he slowly opens his. But not looking there. Looking at the mirror. So he feels as if his left hand is opening up. And that releases. You just imagine the power the mind has over the so in this video, in the end, Ramachandran beautifully says, if I didn't have bodies, I don't have distinctions between you and I. For some reason, my body is not working, then my mind is the same as your mind, the same as everyone else. So he talks, he says that, that is what the Eastern philosophy says. He says that in the video, right? You don't have time to play the video. That is the power of the human mind. So if the mind is used all rightly, it can do so many beautiful things. But if it goes wrong, then you can look at Absolutely so, so, that, so this is one so a couple of examples. But now the point is this mind by nature is fickle, turbulent, and stubborn. You agree? Abhishek, you agree? No? I said nature of the mind is fickle, turbulent, and stubborn. Agree with that? And this is this claim has not been made by us. It is a very old claim. Arjuna makes this claim to Krishna in the Gita. He says, Chanchalam Bhim Nala Krishna Balavad He is fickle, turbulent, and stubborn. Very difficult position to deal with. So how do I deal with this mind? So then we have a solution. Solution is get okay. So let's do one thing. Okay. You can 
say whatever that I need to do. It is in joint decision. And you have a time limit. You have a time of two minutes. And your time starts now. Correct time. Can you all show what you have drawn? First, don't tell anything. Just show what you have drawn then. Okay. 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 So, can, can you say what you have drawn? It's a keyboard, basically. It's a rectangle. But it has keys, right? That's a space bar. The point, okay. Thanks, Robert. Thanks for trying. You guys also tried some things. Tell me, why was it so difficult to do this? Okay, if I ask you to draw a keyboard, how much time will it take to do? I give you much more time than that. But you ended up drawing something like the horizontal building. Why? The mind doesn't move. The mind doesn't move. There is there is no there is nothing clear. When you don't have a vision or a goal in front of you, mind doesn't move. Even though he was trying to give some instructions, because you he didn't know what you were doing. Suppose you were seeing what you were doing, it's not like that, not like that, make it smaller, make it smaller. And he after he added, first he thought he had a pull up square, then he had a gap chute. Then he had a gap chute. Meanwhile, some people have made a whole other table. Point is, when we don't have a clarity or a goal, your mind just wanders. It does not have anything to do. 
So, now, therefore, there's a very beautiful saying by uh, Nietzsche. He who has a wife to live can bear almost any thought. Can you explain what it means? He who has a wife to live can bear almost any person who has a goal to live can achieve that anyhow. person who has a goal to live can achieve that anyhow. Okay? Who is living for the goal hmm. to be the main thing. Living for the goal should be the main thing. Beautifully said. If you have a why, if you have a purpose to live, no matter how which condition you are living, it will still be rich. But if you don't have a reason, why, reason to live, or a purpose to live, or a goal to achieve, no matter where you are, in the best comfort you are, it is like being in jail. If <coughs> you think about it in jail, what is the worst thing that can happen to you? Because you have no purpose. That's why do people suddenly go to jail and they start reading? When they write, you know, they are only criminals. Outside society, they are not in jail, but they start reading, they write exams, they, 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 they do so much things. Why? Because they want to. So point is, like a river, imagine a river, right from the time it leaves the mountain, it has only one way, reaching the ocean, reaching the sea. The, for reaching that one goal, it follows a particular path, it go, goes through, and then it's not that the river starts and has a straight line, it goes and meets the ocean. Now, it has to twist, it has to, some places, it just, it's just small things are there, it will just wash it through, force it through. If there are big mountains, it will try to go around the mountain, through the valley. If there are some places, it will go under the, uh, it will go underneath something, under the bridge in the So wherever it wants, it will do whatever it needs, but its objective is fixed. From there, it has to reach the ocean. The goal is fixed. And the banks guide the river. Now imagine, if you had a river without banks, what would happen? Water will come, spread all over. As it spreads all over, what is going to happen? It will get evaporated faster. It will get sucked down by the earth. And a very short distance from where it starts, it will disappear. It basically will not come So a river which does not have a direction to it gets destroyed. But the same river with the direction to it reaches that goal perfectly. On the way, it benefits so many people. Imagine. Even though the reverse objective was only to reach the ocean. But on route, hundreds of thousands of people get That is what happens. When we don't have a goal, mind this, what else? So what are the problems? What, why should there be other reasons? Goals can bring out the hidden tensions. can really make us more than what we are. What we don't know sometimes, those things also we are able to do when we have a goal. They make our lives best. Now, you have watched football at least, right? Sometimes. What sport do you like? Kickboxing. Kickboxing. Okay, I don't know the rules of kickboxing. <laughs> I am at a disadvantage. My brother's a football player, so I've seen him kick, but I've seen him like a... Now, you're your brother play. You yeah. know your brother's pretty passionate about football. So now imagine, we have a game, we play a game of football, okay, after the class. But, see, so yes. <laughs> but the rule is, we have two teams, we have football, but we don't have a great coast. You know, for the next 90 minutes, we have to keep the ball beat. Suddenly everyone is, yes, no. What is the problem? So in any minute you keep doing this. You keep the volume, you keep the volume, you keep the volume, you keep the volume. You do this, right? You keep keeping the volume. You keep 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 the volume. But the moment the khamba khada kar diya. And I said, this ke andar ball ke. It becomes a very popular game. And so many football matches actually end with a scoreline of 0-0. Right? But yet we watch. Why? If you are told at the start, you don't know what to do, you don't know what to do, but you watch it because there is a possibility. 
सस्पेंस क्या हो सकता है समथिंग टू बी अचीव यू वन टीम इज ट्राइंग अदर टीम इज ऑल्सो ट्राइंग बी इज एंटरटेन दैट इज द पावर इफ यू फाइंड योर लाइफ इज बोरिंग इट मींस यू डोंट हैव अ और यू डोंट हैव अ गोल व्हिच यू वांट टू अचीव देन योर लाइफ इज दैट्स द सिंपल आंसर एंड डिप्रेशन सुसाइड क्राइम ऑल कम डिप्रेशन हैपन्स वाई बिकॉज अ पर्सन फील्स फॉर सम रीजन नथिंग फॉर मी टू थिंक आई एम अचीव नथिंग फॉर दैट आई कैन डू इट विद माय लाइफ पर्सन गोस टू डिप्रेशन एक्सट्रीम केसेस कैन इवन बी व्हाई डू सम पीपल डू सुसाइड इफ दे डोंट गेट मार्क्स बिकॉज दे फील ओ माय होल लाइफ आई डोंट हैव एनीथिंग मोर टू डू इन लाइफ आई हैव लॉस्ट माय एग्जाम आई लॉस्ट एवरीथिंग or some relationship fails oh my god that person was my life, whole purpose of my life person is gone i don't have a purpose even crying why crying because if you don't have a goal then you will fall for every single temptation that you think of it's about you know you must know when when people you know if they go to shopping okay i'm not being gender biased but gender you go to shopping They don't have a shopping list. They will end up bringing three cards. They go and that's what the shopping malls do. Nothing. They make sure that the path from the entry to the counter is the longest path. They make you pass through every single gallery and go to the counter to the money counter. Because you do, they do that. If you don't have a shopping list to go by, you will say, "Yeah, it's good." So you end up falling up into every single thing that comes out. That's how crime increases. If you see, when unemployment increases, crime increases. Why? Not because people want money. Because they have nothing to do. I don't mind. Sit here, nothing to do. They start doing something. Therefore, crime is also zero. That is the importance of getting a goal. So, if you are not getting a goal, you will never be able to achieve a lot of things. The next question comes: How? Watch a very beautiful video uh, by Swami Chinmayananda. How many of you have heard Swami Chinmayananda in the past? Okay. So you have heard Bahar Guru and Swami. No, I mean, have you heard him speak? How many of you heard him speak? So other than not heard him speak, so you can hear him speak. See what what he has to say. Where the worker never understands tiredness, exhaustion, the joy of that work itself replenishes the true worker. Dure la chavanga, buddhi yoga dhananda. He has to now please understand. Compa- as compared with the buddhi yoga. Budhiyoga, where you have got an ideal and you are pursuing to reach the ideal, it's an inspired enthusiasm. We think you are living that the joy of doer is any day nobler than all the amount of buckets of sweat and toil that you bring out of you, the exhaustion and fatigue you bring about physical. That is only. Labor, that is not work. Dureya, Buddha, Sharanam, and Vecha, my dear boy, work in the world outside. Who said no? But Buddha, Sharanam, and Vecha, maintain your ideal 
I know what's going on. I've been talking to you in an ideal way, not the ideal, be a small idea. Say that one million dollars I want. If the moment I earn one million, I am retired. Eh? Because you may get it. Then afterwards in life you are dead. You have nothing to do. Never keep the goal of highest. So high that you will never reach. Swami, why should I keep an idea which I cannot reach? Ah, reaching the idea is not the goal. Striving to reach it, that is the moment when you grow. Once you reach your goal, your idea, everything is at stake. Then afterwards you have to inquire how to die decently. Because you have to it. Everything has been done. Never should you reach the goal. Keep the goal hard. Don't say there is an impractical method. No. Because reaching the goal is not the goal. Striving to reach there is the goal. Try to reach out to the goal. You grow day by day, week by week. Mutau Sharanam Andrecha. Kampanaha Palate Tava. Those who are thinking only the Malala Vizal. And wanting only that you sweat and toil only to get something. They are Kampana. Kampana meaning. My soul. My soul baby. My soul is a guy who has got the money in his pocket, but he doesn't want to. Even though very hungry, he doesn't want to eat. He goes in front of the restaurant and smells the way he has food. Because that is great. Why don't you want to eat if you are hungry? Look, it's a new note, twenty dollars. If I eat, I get to break it. No, keep it. Why? To spend the money is painful. Therefore you keep it. And drink the cold water from the local tap. Why? Anyway I am going in the evening home. Home there will be food. So I will eat there. Till then you suffer. This is called the M miser. A miser is one. Who has the ability and capacity and yet he will not use it. Because he doesn't want to. Give up that little, I mean that money or that what will come. What the chance of giving your life inspired enthusiasm at all times? And that quick. And then you will die, you will not do that. Why? Because of all attachments of ego and selfish desire. And make a mess of our own life. You are Kupana. Okay. When you are inspired in the working, you would know the exhaustion of life. <laughs> Doctors will have to take easy tea to understand whether I am overstrained or not. You ask me, I am never overstrained. Why? I am inspired in this work that I am doing. Anybody who is inspired, they don't care about worries and anxiety. In our own home, when there is a marriage, there is over enthusiasm. And when the marriage is over and the girl is walking away, you find everybody collapsing in wherever they are standing. For three days they would get up from there. Neighbors you have to come and feed them. How is it that at the eight a.m. you collapse? But till later, you are all enthusiastic. Ah, that is because the shadi, the marriage, and that girl is now gone. Ah. In spare work, you work, but you will not know the exhaustion of a fatigue. Tireless you work when you are inspired. No. Uh, So, the example may not be knowing, but from Chimayana, when he was delivering his lecture, only about 
15 percent or 20 percent of his heart goes wrong. He already got two heart attacks by this time. That's why in where he tells that point, the doctor will have to come and take ECG to find out if I am overstrained or not. Only about 15 percent of his heart was functioning, but you cannot make that out. He is speaking with that over and that point. That is the power of if you are working with that higher vision and we get that boost, which then really makes a big difference in our understanding. So higher the goal, greater the inspiration. That's the first mantra which we can do. Higher the goal, greater the inspiration. But please understand, one I'll clarify one point. Higher a goal does not only mean more difficult the goal. People are going to get confused. All these management people are also both there. Set, great, go, high goals, high goals. If you are doing now, you make it 20 hours, you work 24 hours a day, you know, all that difficult. Difficult work does not mean high inspiration. Difficult work without inspiration is frustration. That's what happens in the corporate. The manager keeps saying, increase the targets, revise the targets, it's all jada work. School, colleges keep telling, you got 80%, make it 90%, 90%, make it 95%. Keep increasing. That does not only translate into an inspired, it only make you frustrated, you forget it. I was happy, I was so happy when I was 60 percent. Kama kam 90 percent. So you get older. That's not the point. What is important is, when you hire the guru, what is the vision? Vision. There's a nice story, maybe some of you have heard. There are three laborers who are Breaking stones. They are working in a construction site. Hey, one of them, I start throwing it. Still breaking it, throwing it. The guy would ask him, "Hey, what are you doing? Can't you see I am breaking stones?" The other guy was working the beach. He would do the look at the sun, keep the time of baki, and he would keep doing it. So he asked him, "Hey, what are you doing?" He said, "You know, I am uh, I am earning my livelihood. Create the same life. My car is running. So I can." The third guy was also working very enthusiastic. He was making it nice thing. You know, when you start to finish it, the water finish one side, you look at the bridge and then smile and again start working. So, what are you doing? He said, I'm building a bridge which will be used for thousands of people. The point is, work done by other people. It's the same. But it's the vision behind that which determines whether or not that. So when you say higher the goal, greater the inspiration, what it means, higher the vision you have behind that working, I want that, then you can get inspired and you will do difficult things also. But if you merely make it difficult, just to say that will give you that will give a challenge. Okay. Doing something in difficulty will give a challenge. But after a point that challenge becomes time. Because there is no The point of what is that make a vision. But once you have decided, how to do it? Then we should be smart while setting the goals. What is smart? And if you know this, very MBA journals are known, very common. Who all have heard of the smart business? Then you must have maybe that you know heard it in MBA. But it's a very, it's a very awful thought of that we should have smart things. What is smart? Five things. Your goal should be specific. What I mean is specific. Suppose you know you have a vision. Suppose I'm just saying, my goal is, I want to become, I want to become Christian or not. Suppose that's a goal. That is not a very, it's not a goal which you can be. It's a nice thing to have. But what do you want to do about it? I don't know. I want to become like, I want to become like this. Or just like, or I want to get a great fit goal. What are you going to do? There's no specifics. The goal should be specific. You can determine and it should be measurable. If I say that, okay, every day I will practice football for three hours, that is measurable. Then I can do something. But just I want to be a brilliant football player, that's not measurable. How will you know whether you Specific, measurable. Third, assignable. What it means is that this is not only for personal work. Suppose you say that, you know, I want to keep my college or I want my country to become corruption free. 
is it? But is it assignable? Who is going to do it? How is it going to happen? Is it ass can you assign that goal to someone? Is that if this person has to do this, this person has to do this, if I do this, then that will be achieved. Is it assignable? Is it realistic? Please don't confuse. Higher the vision and realistic are not contradictory to each other. Vision must be high. But the steps to reach that vision must be realistic. But if my vision is to be a fit person, that remains. If I say I'm going to lose 50 kilos next month, that's not realistic. You may get into trouble if you try to do that. I have realistic goals, but with a vision. Yes, I want to become a vision itself is I want to only lose 5 kilos. That's my vision. There is nothing there to try to do. Chalo, panch kilo, chai, kya it just keeps going. Vision must be high, but goals must be realistic. And last and most important, time based. Time bound. Don't say, I will be the one. Some of you have to say, the guy wanted to climb Everest, but he was ever at rest. He is not doing anything. You have time bound problems. So, what is smart? Specific. Get a vision, then you can work on this one. And set goals for different aspects of your master. Don't limit. When we go to any further, then I ask, there, what is your goal? Chant from 
you have to count from 1 to 10. But you cannot count in order. And you can't count to the means, you can't count to the means, you can't count to the means. You have to make it random and you have to count. But if two people at the same time say the number, for example, I'm just saying, suppose Sachin says 1, two others, you know, anyone can say 2, two others say 2 at the same time, you have to restart the number. You have to finish counting from 1 to 10. And, yeah. The numbers have to be in order. Only one ten million. Numbers have to be in order, but no order of ten million. I suppose. No scene. Okay? No scene. I suppose. Yes. Sir. Yes. 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 Your opinion. 
that situation. We are restricted to that situation. We can stop the gym. We can stop the gym for uh, some period of time. Work uh, harder in office and stuff. Or then when we get promotion, keep the behavior in uh, like balance. Not good, not bad. Then when he get, when the boss like he gives a salary, so then start to normally like, start to start the gym and start. Probably that that's one practical solution. It's been nice. Temporarily adjust it and then come back to it. Any way, any way, any way, any way, any way. Okay, so I'm not going to be 
middle of size the cover about about the team work aspect the point is that individual brilliance is sometimes is, is not enough for a successful team so in a team it's important that for excellence in a team it's important that there is a common goal which the team members have and it requires some understanding for team members for to fit them in the right place even the simple activity that you guys did two rounds of failure ke baad you understood some things if i wait longer someone will say if i say quickly some others will not say so that was understanding of the other team members is it a fact that other few other team members would have waited and you know, if all of them had decided to go immediately there would have been chaos but a few others i think especially you were waiting and then i was by the waiting to see bus ko ab bol raha hai koi nahi thoda time ruke koi nahi bol raha hai then you enter to see that's what happens when you learn excellence in a team can come by understanding if you think about our own country when we read the history till 1947 we see a country with so many leaders that we had no shortage of leaders all leaders all kinds of leaders and we read all the kind of things that happened thousands of people going to jail hundreds of people all over the country doing satyagraha doing so many things some even you know deserting the vibrant and awake and working that one unit The goal was only independence, freedom. Really, चलो ब्रिटिश ने वो दे दे लो। There was no other goal to be achieved. There was nothing else which could commonly integrate the country. Take them. Therefore, all that energy is in. So, 20 years after independence, we find that all the things are going down. There was not much. The so, people suddenly didn't know what to do. So, all that they had worked for, they achieved. is a problem so if in a team the main job of the team leader is to get everyone inspired and motivated and remember one thing the team leader can an inspiring leader has to himself be inspired you know we think if i am a team leader my job is to give pep talk so i get them with a pep talk pep talk and you know you say much Every time you buy, it becomes a routine ritual. You know, even you must have known if you know if your coach keeps calling you, keeps saying, "No, come on, guys, two hundred percent, two hundred percent, two hundred." That's he gave. Yeah, that's it. Now I'm giving him. It's not just about giving pep talks all the time. That is not being a leader. Leader is should be inspiration in himself. His own conduct, his own way he does things should be inspiring. That is what Mahatma Gandhi was not a great politician.
because only then can it be replicated across. So we started out and we said excellence was our first step we said it cannot be achieved by accident. Then we said impulsive reaction is action is an action, so intelligent response is a work. Then we said that but without knowledge you cannot do intelligent response, without knowledge excellence is not possible. Then we said that but but the only knowledge is not enough. The proficiency needs a calm mind to execute that knowledge. So you need to mind the mind. How do you make the mind calm and efficient? Is by having an instrument. That is how you reach excellence. Khatam. So then what is what about next week? Go pull out the four class. The three class will be fourth class. For your experience. What I mean by that? There are a few other members who had messaged me that they are not coming today. Yeshraj is there, Yesh is there, uh, Akash is there, I think I remember Ashay Abha is there. Four people who had, but they are there in the team. I am going to make three teams of each of you. I will randomly make it up and I will inform you what the teams are. Next week, is your presentation. 20 minutes I am going to give to each one. 20 minutes is each to give the time to give to each one. You have to take up one class now. Three classes you have done. Three classes, so 20 minutes each class, 60 minutes is what you have over to make your presentation. That has to include, it, I am leaving in thought of you, but it has to include an activity. Hey, when you present, don't repeat the activity you do, as we all know. It has to include one activity which you can do to make things interesting to convey the point and whatever material you need for that, please drink. Whatever you need. But don't do something which is not possible. Realistic. Huh? Realistic. Ah, it should be realistic, smart. So set smart uh, activities. So do think of that and if possible, if you can show some nice videos, then what we do. If you want to make a PPT, that's your call. I'm not going to insist on that. You can, you cannot, may not make a PPT. But another thing is, all the team members have to participate. In so I will make, I'll post the groups by tomorrow. The ADC is the one group. I'll make a WhatsApp group. And then say, the group one group, the group three group. See, how you want to coordinate amongst your group members, you take a call and you, how you want to go to meet somewhere, you want to discuss something, you do whatever. Do that, you take a call. Online internet only. But next week is your message. For that, we, I will give you from our end, we will be inviting Swamiji and a few people. From your end, you can invite your friends, family members, all of them to come. So please bring your family people, bring your friends, bring anyone you would like to come. Bring them here. And we will review also, because we would like to review also participate in your activities. You have a chance to arrive us. We will have you for three classes. You have a chance to so, but next week is your show. So, so if there are any doubts you want, you can ask me in the group. Let me know if Next week, 10 to 11.30, one hour is your program. We have a little bit of conclusion in some introduction. So this is the, okay. But this is, this is other than your assignment. The assignment is something. And anyway, three aspects in your life where you want to work with And, Break down one of your that vision into smart things. Just make a note of it. There's not much. Three aspects where you want a higher vision. One of those aspects you want to break it down into smart things. Huh? This is separate, huh? this is other than what you are that. Group activities for the next class. This is your assignment. Okay, so we started 10 minutes late. So we are completing 5 minutes later than 10 minutes. So we will. Uh, so you can name more this.
Yeah, we can, uh, we can follow, we can argue this side, or at least we can put the main points out. And each of the points of the person can take it from. And we, have, we will definitely share that map. Map we can definitely share. Yeah, so with the map we will know what those. So the point is we want you to think. If we give you something, you will be restricted. Get presented in a way that is yours. No, the thing is we will assign the topics to you. But if you among the groups want to exchange topics, mutual consent, yes, sir. We have no topics. We will assign a topic to A, B, and C. You are free to deliberate and discuss amongst groups. Control the class. Good. Some odd position or words. Okay.